everybody, welcome back. I am Lucas, and I am part of the um, actual re reality AR airsoft channel. So in this video, we are gonna show some 3D printed parts. I will link the links to them in the description. But uh, I just got finished printing out these two grips. So um, if you want some grips or like another grip like this right here, or even a silencer or something like that, mainly for looks, um, just, just go to our uh, comment section and just tell us your email and we will find a way to get one to you for a fraction of the normal one's price. So yeah, check that out. Um, here they are. So as you can see, it's not perfect because I kind of ran out of glaze, but that's it. So we're gonna take some of this paint. It's um, red, medium hue. I'm not very good at paint, but uh, yeah, that's what it says. You could probably see the the um, the logo if you need to like buy it online or something. And you probably don't need to do like the inside of the rail because that will be on your gun and you don't want like and it'll probably scrape off the paint will come off onto your gun if it slides around a lot so you probably don't want to paint that part but you want to paint the rest and you want a nice even coat so I'll cut to when I'm done with my first layer all right so we've got our grip dry and we have one layer of paint and I'm just gonna keep painting and drying and painting and drying over and over until it's like a solid color and you can't see the blue at all and you also can't really see like the lines of the 3d print so I'll come back in a minute all right so now we are on the third and final coat of the uh, the red paint job. Actually, we're gonna do another coat, but with black instead. We're on the, the third and final coat of red. So, just get the paintbrush out. Just kind of dry it off on the side a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna make sure there's no, no other little spots. Because if you look really closely, like at this little spot right there, I'm going to fix that. Hopefully not do that again because I that, it, it tipped over and I touched it with my finger and then I didn't want to touch it again So I just kind of left it there. So here we go Let's put a little bit of paint down. It's like probably that much will be enough Oh, I also did a little bit more work on the last layer and I got in between all these little cracks Which was the hardest part because I have a really short uh, paintbrush But yeah So you could just finish now, or you could, um, or you could put a design on it, like a camo design, or like some cool techie design, which is what I'm gonna do. And you know, if if you if you were just doing a plain color, it probably wouldn't be red. It would be like dark green, or like olive, or um, black, or something, whatever color your 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 own gun is. And you could even hydro dip it, and we might even do a video on that if you guys want us to. All right, so now we have um, everything here sanded, and um, these three are the suppressors, and they have like this clear, clo clear coat on them. So you can see this is like, wait, let, me, let me focus. This is like really smooth, 
and then this is kind of rough. Yeah, you want to make sure your paint is all shooken up. So go until you feel like the little bumps on the bottom. Today, so if these fall over, it might be kind of bad. So get kind of far back. So the paint doesn't like pile up and start dripping because that would be kind of bad. Three hours later, I painted this with some, I basically made, like pressed down the little thingy on top of the spray paint, just a tiny, tiny bit. So it like kind of spray these little drips and I messed that up a couple times. That's why it's like covered in some spots, but you can kind of see how I got these drip patterns. I also used some like, some of the mesh from like an onion bag or like an avocado bag. You guys probably have something like that that you could use like in your trash. So I just used that on some part so I get this cool, like, you can't really see it, but it's like a grid. So, oh, that's probably bad. I wanna take that off. So yeah, this is all dry. Actually, yeah, this is like nice and dry. I have some on my fingers cause I'm not very good at this. But also these are dry. Yep, these are all dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take them and go hand paint some more details on them. So they look cool. And yeah, see you then. All right, so we have the uh, different pieces that we 3d printed here and we have the same red paint because my favorite colors are black and then like a little bit of red I don't know why but that looks really cool to me and like kind of like mixed so we have the same red and this black was some of this so if you want to buy that online it's the Rust-Oleum. And then we also got the Design Master Glossy Black here. So, yeah. And I showed you the glaze earlier. So here we go. So we probably only want to do one of these at a time. So this one is for me. And this one is for my friend. So I made one for my friend, cause you know, you know, you'll see him in a different video. But um, basically we are just gonna do one at a time. So let's start with this. So the kind of pattern I want is, so you can see that it's threaded here. It's kind of hard to see. It's not focusing. Whatever. It is threaded so you can screw it straight onto your gun. And what I would like is have this back part red. Put some onto the, uh, oops, put it onto the plate. Let's put it over here. So we'll use that red for all of the, like most of the red stuff that we're doing right now. So basically every part on these that are blue, I want red. So I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit, then start applying the red.
All right, so we've got, I meant not cleaned, painted, first layer, so. All right, here they are, the final product. All dried and ready. I put electrical tape over this part of the grip so it's a little bit more grippy. I also made a kind of a camel pattern with the electrical tape. But you can see that all of these are way better than when they started. I accidentally left these out in the rain. I, I didn't notice it was raining and some of those got wiped off, but you know, nobody's gonna see those. Thank you for watching everybody if you liked the video press the like button if it helped you also press the like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications because we will definitely post next and this has been actual reality airsoft and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye